Hey guys, it's Beth here. Welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for tuning in once again. I know it's been a while since I've made a video. And yes, it's my first video of 2019, but hey, I'm back. And that's all that matters. <laughs> I've been making videos, but I don't know, I just haven't been happy with them, and I don't like to post things that I'm not proud of, and I'm just ready to get back into it. I love making videos, and I miss it, and I need a hobby <laughs> other than just working, and I love creating, so this is a good pastime. <laughs> but thank you so much for tuning in. I have some very exciting news. Drum roll, please. Well, you guys probably already know, but I finally graduated from the Culinary Institute of America at Greystone. I am officially a CIA graduate in baking and pastry. I'll insert some clips here of my graduation day, but it was such an incredible experience. I feel so grateful to have been able to go to that school and shout out to my parents because they really made it happen for me. If it wasn't for them and their support and everything else, I would have not been able to, to go to this school. But I have such amazing parents and so many amazing people around me that we made it happen. And I just feel so grateful to finally be graduated. It feels so crazy. I can't even believe how fast the time went by, but... I just want to talk to you guys a little bit about my experience because the CIA is a very well-known school and a lot of people want to go to it so I thought why not give you just a little overview about it. I won't go too in depth about it but I'll mo mostly just talk about my experience. I could definitely do um, a video about more in depth like about all the classes you take and all the little stuff in between that's not exactly on their website but for now I'm gonna talk about my experience so I started on September 12 2017 and it was a good time to start a lot of people that had just graduated high school just like me started around the same start date so a lot of people were my age which was nice and it's usually not like that because the CIA accepts um, all ages just like any other college people that just found their passion in food and they want to come and learn more they go there and there's just so many different wonderful people there and you get to meet so many incredible creative talented and hard-working people. I definitely 110%, 1000% recommend this school. If you are passionate about the food industry and you really have the willingness to learn and to just dive deep into the world of food, I recommend this school 110%. They have locations not only in California, but in New York, which is the main campus in Hyde Park. Then they have one in Texas. I'm not exactly sure where that one is. And then Singapore. And they also have another location that I don't remember. I'm pretty sure there's another one. My campus um, in up north, NorCal in St. Helena, Napa Valley. Smaller campus than all the other campuses, I believe. And... It was nice going to a small school. I didn't really mind it. It was it was probably smaller than my high school, <laughs> honestly. It, but um, I liked how everyone knew each other. Sometimes it wasn't always a good thing. Offer a lot of different programs. I have the culinary art programs and baking and pastry, which is the one I took. They also offer wine and beverage programs to become a sommelier. A person that knows about wines and then um, the main campus in New York offers bachelor's degree so you could get your bachelor's degree if that's something that you wanted and there's a lot they have a lot of great opportunities you can go um, you can you can go to school ab abroad it's just a really an amazing school I came to that school really knowing nothing about bacon and pastry. I just knew the basics. I knew like 
the broad things you would know about baking and pastry. Like, I knew how to follow a recipe. That's the only thing I really knew how to do. I knew how to make cupcakes. I didn't... I I just knew how to make simple things. I knew how to make cake pops, cookies, brownies, just the very simple things. I I didn't go in with a lot of knowledge, but I came out a completely different person in baking and pastry. I no, I didn't know how to make a cake before I went in. Now I do. I know how to make beautiful cakes. I I learned a lot of skills, a lot of knowledge. There's just so much you learn in those two years. It's intense, but it goes by really fast, as you can tell. I can't believe I already graduated too, just like yesterday that I started and I got accepted. It's so crazy, but it's a really great program and it's a lot of work. It gets kind of tiring, but then once you graduate and you work in the real industry, you realize that it really wasn't that bad. <laughs> but learn a lot, but that's only if you let yourself, you actually want to learn. They really set you up for success in the real world. They're really pushing professionalism on you. That's one thing that many people don't know about that the school, that it's very professional. You can't go to school wearing um, leggings and a sweatshirt. Like you go to school with your hair up, with chef shoes or unopened shoes, whatever they're called. You have to wear business casual if you're not in chef wide. Some chefs are really strict about that, others aren't. But when I first started, they were pretty strict. But as I, but as the time went on and by the time I graduated, they kind of were getting a little, they weren't as strict, and I don't really know why. It's not like any other college, it's, it's different. But you go through the same things other college students do. We go through long nights of essays, you procrastinate, you have homework, you have general ed classes, you take math and English, uh, you have homework, it might not be, um, it might not be like essays all the time, but you have, you will have to write a couple essays. You do write a handful of essays, but it's not like 10 page essays. The longest is probably three or five, but it's not common, it especially depends on the chef. Some chefs don't really like giving out homework. Um, other chefs do, sometimes you have to type up vocab words and like questions other times you just have to do hands-on stuff like piping and chocolate work and that's only if you're a baking and pastry student a uh, total program if is five semesters and one of those five semesters in your third semester you go off and work in the industry for 14 weeks you could go anywhere in the world Whatever your heart desires, as long as it's on the list of places that are accepted to go to. You can also get a place that you're interested in that isn't on that list accepted. It's just a process. During my two-year program, there's a lot of ups and downs as well. It's just like any other college and being away from home, but it's always such a good time because I just really love the fact that I was around so many hardworking, creative, talented people working towards the same goal as I was. I learned a lot throughout my program. I came out a completely different person than when I entered. I hate to say this, but it was kind of an extension of high school. And I don't want that to scare anyone. I think that's just because of when I entered. Because I was with so many people that were my age. But it was a good time. I, there was highs and lows, just like any other school experience, but I wouldn't have it any other way. I've learned so much about myself, so much life lessons, so much growth, and not only in not only in my career, but just as a person. And there was just so much good that came out of me going to that school. If you have that burning passion inside of you that wants to be a chef, that wants to 
work in the food industry, whatever it is. It might not be cooking because there's so many little aspects that go into the food world that we don't really think about. There's people that, there's food scientists, recipe developers, there's so much business management, so many things and all our producers, all the people that we buy food from, it's just so much. I truly believe that the CIA sets you up for success, definitely 110%. Everything that I'm doing at work, I did at school, like I feel completely confident in working in a kitchen. In the beginning, it's kind of scary because it's new. You've never worked in the kitchen. Maybe you have, but I ha I didn't because I went right after I graduated high school. But it's a little intimidating, but especially like the chefs around you. But then over the time, it gets easier and it's all baby steps. The minute you start, it's all building blocks from there. You just keep going up higher and higher and higher and you just keep learning more and more and more. I met some amazing people, I made some amazing friends, and, and it was just an incredible ride. So much more that I could talk to you guys about the CIA, but there's just so much, I don't know what to get into. Like, do I go, do you guys wanna hear about the classes? Like, every little thing? What do you guys wanna hear? Let me know, maybe I can do a and a I just wanted to make this video to tell you guys about my experience. It was definitely a good time. Um, there was a lot of good that came out of it. Overall, I had a really great experience at the Culinary Institute of America at Greystone. There's always good and bad. You're going to find that everywhere. The, but the good definitely outweighs the bad. It, at least it does for me. I hope you guys enjoyed that video. Thank you so much for watching. I know it's... I, appreci I appreciate it so very much that you guys turned on this video. Let me know what you guys want to see next. Today I just wanted to talk to you about my experience since I graduated two months ago. And I've been working. So a week after I graduated, I started um, working as a pastry cook at a restaurant near home, which I love. It's been a really good time. I've been learning a lot and it's been pretty good to me. So I feel really good at where I am at today and I feel so grateful for everything that has led me up to this. It was all divine timing and I'm so grateful. Thank you so much universe. Thank you so much you guys for watching. I'll see you guys very soon. I hope you have a high ride day. Bye!